Turtles and a McChicken Biscuit. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Well, we're looking at almost the sunset, but it's actually staying light out later now. You can see it's not quite getting down to the horizon yet, but it's a beautiful day today, and we've had warm temperatures across the board, all sitting in the 60s, some 50s out towards Amarillo, but it's just been a beautiful springtime day after we saw those storms clear out. And you can see those clouds still pushing off to the east, and we're left with this very dry weather behind that. That was a strong cold front that's been dropping our dew points throughout the day today. So it's been making our fire danger near critical. You can see that today. And we'll also have an elevated fire danger Tuesday and Wednesday due to dry and warm conditions. And one of the things I'm most concerned about here is we will have the chance for some thunderstorms. So we could see some lightning strikes setting up some grass fires there. You're going to look at Tuesday and Wednesday wind gusts here. Pretty high winds on Wednesday, up to 40 miles an hour. So we'll have to worry about that. And you can see there across the board Wednesday afternoon. 40 mile an hour wind gusts. So those fire dangers will be pretty high and that will be after those storms move through. So if we do have fires, they'll be difficult to fight. We also have very low relative humidity values today. Tomorrow, or on Tuesday, we're also looking at low relative humidity as well as Wednesday. So just be cautious of that fire danger. We'll see that warm up a little bit before we have our next round of storms. We have this low pressure system centering over Oklahoma and Texas, bringing another cold front on Tuesday night into Wednesday. You can see we do have a slight risk for our northeastern areas towards OKC between 40 and 35 there. And most of us are in a marginal risk for some severe weather. So we could see some pop-up thunderstorms there that could be strong. If you look at our future track Tuesday night, it looks like we start to see these storms forming. We have pretty big supercells that could form along I-35 there. Wednesday, you can see a couple more up towards the north. It's just going to depend on where those lay that we'll have to see what we're going to have in our area. But we could see some of those become severe because we have a lot of potential energy there. You can see around the central area of our region, very high Cape values. That's the potential energy needed to create those storms. And I'm thinking Dallas might see some pretty strong thunderstorms. They have a very high Cape value late Tuesday night into Wednesday. And we could see some rainfall totals. Most of us just getting a light amount of rain and to the north and east is where the bulk of that rainfall will lie. So again, the main threats with this will be large hail, damaging wind gusts, and we can't rule out the possible tornado if these supercells do become strong. We could see them drop one or two isolated tornadoes there. But after that, we'll see this mild weather pattern return as we have a large ridge midweek, giving us that mild weather into the weekend. And it's going to look beautiful for us after that. But for tomorrow in Lawton, it's going to be a beautiful day. We are in the 60s. Absolutely great. And tonight is just going to be a cool and mild night. But for our seven day, you can see that we'll have a very spring-like pattern Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll see that rainfall. But our temperature is staying pretty warm. We'll be in the 60s as we go into the weekend. So it's going to be like a springtime pattern. And we'll see those storm chances rolling around every so often. But for now, our next ones are coming in midweek. Absolutely. I love seeing those spring-like temperatures. You know, uh, very, yeah. very uh, welcome. Especially after yesterday, uh, we saw lots of severe weather uh, across parts of the area yesterday. Take a look at this video shot in Texas yesterday. Two possible tornadoes touched down south of Amarillo near Palo Duro Canyon State Park. Fortunately, no injuries or fatalities were reported. The park had reported damage to buildings, and one home was struck by an apparent tornado. The storm also knocked out power lines and a cell tower. That wasn't the only spot that saw damage. Four more possible twisters touched down near three towns north of Lubbock. Hannah, just look at that damage. I mean, I hate seeing stuff like that. Very fortunate no one was injured, especially whenever you see some of the stuff left behind. Yeah, we saw some pretty large tornadoes yesterday in the Texas Panhandle, so it's very lucky that no one was injured in that. Absolutely. <laughs> MedWatch 7 is sponsored by Comanche County Memorial Hospital.